morning. Headed to the dog show. It's just not exactly what I'm wearing. To the dog show. This is just a jacket I'm wearing over my shirt. All right, hit the road. Okay, my neck is a little stiff. Let me see if I can find some paint away or something. I had one of Tanya's Bordeaux's and all she did was pull on me. Boy, that sounds terrible. My van sounds like it's knocking. Hmm. hmm. Taking it to the garage tomorrow or the next day for... It's brand new. It's 2022. Um, to get all this wiring fixed on it. I need to talk to them and make sure me working on this wiring doesn't nullify my warranty that I paid forty thousand dollars for. So the other day I was video. I got out of the car and I guess I pulled on the uh, microphone. You can't hear anything. It would be better if it didn't have a microphone in it than microphone my cord is awfully short Make it a little bit longer here. it's a possibility da da so I need to make sure that I'm plugged in you know so I'm just talking my heart out and maybe that's not a good expression <laughs> saying th important things and you can't hear a word I said I pray it doesn't rain on us but I wore a cowboy hat because it's cowboy day again Surreal, which I absolutely love this product. Yeah. 
uh, ibuprofen to put in my bag, and I don't think I got any in there for Bill. He twisted his ankle. Then yesterday, he fell again, pulling crates. <laughs> uh, so anyway, this product, so the wonderful thing about this product is that it does work, and it does help you feel better, and it does help your body heal. But I was just thinking, like, this is a very expensive product if you don't buy, like I buy 10 or 20 at a time, and I can get them for around. So I'm on auto ship, and I get this, the blood flow, and the uh, cri cryactive, which is an overall body inflammation thing, because all disease. He was, I think he was. I think I gave him the whole set, the blood flow, the, anyway, he went from, oh, I know what he was in a assisted living because they couldn't get this wound to heal on his toe. And I don't necessarily think he's diabetic. I don't know. He was never overweight, but he, they could, they were dressing this wound twice a day. Well, finally he gets out of, it was like an assisted living place that they could take care of his foot. And he came home, but they were sending people out to dress it every day. And I said, he looked dead. I mean, he was so white, he looked dead. I said, just take this for me. I'm not going to charge you anything. I'm not making anything. Just take this for me. And he did. And he got better. He started buying cattle and working cattle. And he is just the best neighbor. I just adore him. He's probably my dad, almost my dad's age. Always working on our road. If, if we're working cattle and we run out of something, he's always got something. And he never, you know, he's so sweet. We're like, yes, we will pay you. And he's like, no, it's okay. I mean, he's just so precious, right? So he had a heart attack two days ago and he's on a ventilator. He doesn't want to be on a ventilator. He wants to go home to heaven to be with his wife, Edith, who left before him. So I haven't heard today if they took him off. You know, be that precious neighbor. Be that precious neighbor to someone that they would feel so comfortable with you they would borrow a cup of sugar. Be that neighbor. Because trust me, in heaven, you're never going to be sorry that they borrowed a cup of sugar. This man was just incredible. He had his great-grandchildren, and they adored him. In fact, they were with him when he had the heart attack. He was showing his grandkids his special room. about dying. It's about how you choose to live. So he got another year and a half. He actually has felt terrible. We saw him at the Valley Cafe two weekends ago, three weekends ago, two weekends ago. He went out. He's good friends with, well, we're all good friends on our road. We're all neighbors kind of neighbors we go out to eat together, right? And he was down at the Valley Cafe with Tim's mom and dad and another neighbor that actually had moved away and he came back to visit. And uh, he just didn't feel good. He just wasn't engaging in conversation. He just didn't feel good. But anyway, 
Um, I love this product. This is a, it is a multi-level marketing company, so I apologize. It's the only way you can get it. And my website is my name, Sonia, not www, just just sonia.cerule.com. So it's um, C E R U L E C E Rule R U L E Cerule. And, and what I love about this company, they have come out with some face stuff. But really, these three products are the backbone of their company, and the, and they gather this uh, blue-green algae from a lake in Oregon. And the only other person that gathers algae from that lake is the E, the letter E, the number three, L-I-V-E. So you can, they don't make this product, but they do collect the AFA. And I take it too, and I love it, because what are you feeding your cell tissue to be healthy, right? If you're only eating junk. So I walked in Dollar General the other day and I asked someone there, is there anything in this entire store that would be good for your cell tissue, that would be good for you? And I found a can of tuna and that's questionable, but I thought that would be, could be considered nutritious. But some people disagree with that, so I'm kind of going crooked here. Yeah, so maybe my message this morning, I had no idea what I was going to talk about, but say hello. Hello, hello, hello. And I have Finny Dippy, Legacy, and uh, Honey Bear. Honey Bear, I mean Hannah Bear. Honey Bear and Hannah Bear. H Hannah, Hannah took reserve yesterday. So it's a big deal. Lily was on her. So my precious Lily.
living with an open hand, you know, not living like, I can't release this. And there, there's a proverb that says, those who are stingy and won't release anything come to poverty, but those who are generous, you know, with their, that right heart, that right attitude, those who are generous and open their hand, they have plenty. And they have more to share, because God says, I will give seed to the sower. So it's God that gives us seed to sow. It is God that increases me more and more, me and my children. It is God that he's God delights in the prosperity of his people. So you don't have to be poor to be a Christian. I mean, that's good news. Because that's how the preaching that I was raised under said, the poorer you are, the holier you are, which was not true. Anyway, praise God. We're not there anymore, right? So, be blessed today. Open your hand. And with a pure heart, give, right? Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over will men give unto your bosom. For how you measure it out, it shall be measured to you again. So, I love that. Jesus said in Matthew 25, the difference between those going to heaven and those going to hell, did you feed the hungry? Did you clothe the naked? Did you give a cup of water to the thirsty? Did you invite the stranger in? Did you visit those in prison? And that's what Jesus says in Matthew 25. Read it yourself. He says, at the end of the age, the Son of Man will come with all of his angels, and he will judge the nations.